How's it going guys? So today I want to move out a couple calves here that were born the last two days. Uh, this one was born last night and then that one was born uh, two days ago, I guess. So the their two moms are here in the special needs pen. So that's the back of the milking parlor up there. And then right behind that we have this smaller bed pack pen. It's just kind of a catch-all for any cows that need some extra attention. So we have some fresh cows in there, uh, some older cows that just can't maybe get around quite as good out of the free stalls and then maybe like a sore foot cow or something like that so whatever whatever we need in that pen we'll put in there and then right beside here is the pre-fresh pen so these cows are all due to have their calf within the next two three weeks and we, we'll move them up here from the dry cow barn and they'll hang out in here get a little different feed ration and then we can just watch them a little closer and when they're about to have their calf ideally we're going to move over here to the calving pens and they can have their calf in here Although, we do have calves born in this pen as well. And then when we get out here, as soon as we see them, we'll pull them across here. And uh, then they'll hang out in here until we move them out. So the, the two moms of these calves, they're in this pen. 699 is right there. That's the one that was uh, had the calf last night. And so she's just hanging out in there. She'll be in here for a few days until she gets moved out to the freestall barn. I got the Kubota sidekick hook up to the little calf trailer we have here. These two calves are ready to move out. That one has her ear tags on already. This one was just born last night and didn't get tagged yet. Megan is usually the one that tags them. This one didn't get tags here since last night, so I'll just quick do it. These are the tags we put on. So we put a just a tag with the number for our barn. And then there's a second tag here that has a 15 digit unique number for every calf. I guess in the world or whatever, there's no other calf with this number. And then on the back of this button, we have printed the same number on just for convenience. If we lose a tag, we can just look at that and we can tell which one it is. And this here's the sheet where we write down the calvings. So I'm gonna put down 881 right here. So that's the, the number, the ear tag number that the calf got from this cow 699. Then we have the date. Uh, the sex of the calf, heifer, and this is the birthing difficulty, so we just do one through three. One is easy, three is we had to help her or whatever, or it's just a hard calving. So most of the time we have ones, which means they can have them on their own. There she is. This cow here is one of our tamest cows, 476. We actually saved her life the other day. She was having a calf and she had a twisted uterus. So the calf wasn't going to be able to come out. It would have been stuck in there. And she, when we noticed that she was trying, thought she was going to be having a calf, but it wasn't coming. And then we called the vet and he was able to come out and get it to twist back and get the calf out. The calf was alive and she's doing good now. She was a little bit, she had a little bit of a fever, so we, I have her on some antibiotics right now, but she's seems to be coming around, acting a little more like herself. Okay, I'm gonna load these two calves onto this trailer here. We can haul them out to the calf barn. We got two pens here ready for these calves. This will finish out this whole side and then we got this other side. I'm 
gonna take the Kubota back with the trailer, and then we'll come back with the vaccine, and I wanna do the dehorning for these two as well. Keep a vaccine here in the refrigerator. This is an implant vaccine. So this is used to help prevent pneumonia. Give each of the newborn calves this. I'm gonna bring them up here into this headlock and I have my implant here. And then I got my dehorning paste along with the scissors to trim the hair away. We like to do this as early as possible. It's pretty effective with the paste, as long as you get it on early, make sure you get the hair trimmed away well. Okay, I got the paste on here. There's just a little bud that you can feel. It's not even a horn yet. It's just the place where the horn's gonna start growing. And I find that spot, trim the hair away, and put a little, just a little layer of the paste on there. And that usually seems to take care of them pretty good. All right. All right, got these two done. We like to make sure we take care of these horns early and just never let them grow because they could, as they get bigger, the horns would catch on headlocks and gates, and uh, they could also injure other animals with them. So it's just good to get rid of them. These two little calves will be on milk here for about two months, and during that time, we'll keep them in separate pens. And this is just to help prevent any disease from spreading or anything, and it just allows us to be able to take care of each one individually. But once they're weaned, we pull the middle dividers out, so you can see there's, we only have three that are weaned in here right now. These three here are off milk, and they're together, and now these will be in group housing for the rest of their life. These here are all on milk, and we're giving them grain as well. They get to eat grain as much as they want. We'll just have grain there, free choice for them. And now these will be on a bottle for probably another week or so. We like to make sure they're nice and aggressive and healthy before we try to bucket train them, because it's kind of hard to bucket train young calves like this, only a day or two old. So these are, none of these are getting bottles. They're all drinking their milk out, straight out of the bucket here. They'll get milk twice a day and then we add water here. So there's just free choice water right now. When the calf feeders come, they'll dump the water out, give them some milk, they'll slurp it right up and then give them some fresh water in the same bucket. Okay, so that's it for this job. Thanks a lot for watching guys.